Now the next phase of meiosis is metaphase one. So let me go ahead and draw my cell first. Now the first thing that happens in metaphase one is that your spindles are gonna attach to the centromeres of your chromosomes. So here's a spindle right here. And remember that these spindles right here, they actually like to line up on opposite sides of the cell. Now whenever that happens, since they're attached to the centromeres, they're gonna cause the tetrads to line up along the equator. So let me go ahead and so as you can see these tetrads are all lined up centered in the cell because the spindles that are attached to them are on opposite sides. Now remember that these tetrads each consist of four different unique chromatids. So let me go ahead and draw my unique genetic information in here. Here some random you know genetic material scattered along these chromatid and that's basically all that's going on in metaphase one so remember that the key to take away is that these spindles right here are going to attach even though I didn't draw them attached they're actually attached to the centromeres of your chromosomes and since they are opposite poles one right here and one right here that's what causes these chromosomes or tetrads as they are now to line up along the equator of the cell in anaphase one What's going to happen is that these spindles are actually going to pull the chromosomes, the homologous chromosomes, apart. So if we were to draw a diagram, it would probably look a little bit something like this. What does this remind you of? A peanut or boobs? One or the other. So here is the spindle on this side. Here's a spindle on this side. Now again, like I said, what they did is they eventually succeeded in pulling the tetrad apart. So we basically have something like this. This, and this, and this, and this. Now let me go ahead and draw the random chromatid real quick. And then I want to discuss a couple more things. They're actually pretty important. All right, so basically, remember that even though these spindles right here, they pulled the homologous chromosomes apart, or the matching chromosomes, take note that the sister chromatids are still attached. So another thing that we need to point out is cytokinesis, or the splitting of the cell, is now starting to begin. So remember, you know, back to the point of pulling the homologous chromosomes apart, homologous chromosomes were matching chromosomes. So that's why you have 46 in your normal cells because you get a set from your mom and a set from your dad. Well now what happened in anaphase one is that it pulled the homologous chromosomes apart. So now there are only 23 chromosomes over here. Let me switch my color. 23 chromosomes on this side and 23 chromosomes on this side. So we now no longer have 46 chromosomes, we now are beginning to see that this cell is going to end up with 23 and this side cell is going to end up with 23. So only one set instead of two, they just still have their sister chromatid. So that's why I drew, you know, two chromatid for each one. So remember one last time, 23 chromosomes on each side, but the reason that there are two is because they're sister chromatid.